Do you want a DRGB cooler that actually performs? Well, look no further because the Poseidon GT is here to save your build. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the four piece variety of Wookiee Triple XL. Today, I've got a brand new Cougar Poseidon GT240. It is a big return to form for me with Cougar. They were having a little bit of a wobble there towards the end of and mid uh, portions of 2022. And the new product and stuff wasn't looking all that great. But now, with this new cooler, they really are showing their teeth to the rest of the market and have now slotted themselves right in the middle of the mix in the top sort of premium brands that I normally work with or use. This will be like highly considered, mostly because at the price point, it's the only one with like a five-year warranty at this price and spec. And as you'll see when I get to the performance results, it's no slouch when it comes to its pump and radiator. So let's start off with what's in the box. Well, you get an incredibly good amount of fittings, really nicely anodized and finished, painted black for the you know clips and the bits that hold the you know the brackets and all of that kind of stuff together are all nice, really, really nicely finished, really, really good quality, super happy with those. The fans as well are like a big thing here. The fan quality has improved significantly. It's got incredibly good bearings. The build quality is amazing. It's like a double shell type of effect for the corner pieces and have rubber rising on both sides. So if you were to put this between the case and radiator, you're not gonna have any rattle because of that. They're also DRGB, as you might notice, which does clean up your cabling considerably. Just a split set into the two fans, which then connects to the motherboard. The pump head, however, does have the typical RGB treatment with a really, really nice infinity mirror that is also rotatable. It's something I didn't realize until I'd already shot it, but I'm just gonna do it for you live over here. You can rotate it between several positions. It's not just a full 90 degree rotate. It rotates in increments of 45 degrees. So you can have it at an angle if you wanted it to even, and it's really nicely finished. That infinity mirror does look absolutely amazing the pump head itself is nice and, and sleek and pretty under assuming for, for the most part the as far as the fittings and stuff go there are two changes i would like to make these brackets that they've got employed over here it is an older style of doing it where they would sit on top and then clip into position like that it's more of the same except that there's no real hard clip on them from what i can see they just have like a little ramp that they twist into and then it sits sort of loosely on top so it might be a little bit challenging for first time installers to put that on, I, I really wish it did like clip and lock into position. And then the little garrets that they include are really, really nice. The silicon garrets that sit between your components and the motherboard so that it doesn't scratch it up and I even, you know, cause a short, heaven forbid. Um, th that's just not possible with those silicon grommets that sit in between over there, except that they're bright red, which I don't know why. That should have just been black to make it neutral to fit with this otherwise very clean presentation. The fans, when they are mounted as well, do look super, super sick. And I'm really, really happy with the blade count and the CFM and air pressure. It all checked out on paper. But now we have to test it and see if it does what it's quoted to do. So the pump's quoted at 3000 RPM, so exactly that. Fans as well are quoted from 600 to 2000 RPM. I did actually manage to get them to go a little bit lower even into 500 RPM and then they would go zero RPM after that point. So their quoted range is actually slightly inside of what you can actually get out of them. Um, got a little over 2000 RPM on the top end as well, which is about 400 RPM more than the H100s that we were testing. The pump speed and stuff is exactly the same between the two coolers uh, going into the test. It's going to be against our Corsair H100 RGB. Um, and then the test bench, it's our the old faithful 13600K back once again to produce significant heat. That's one of the things I like about it is you can tune it to 225 watt. So I did two fresh tests. I did one yesterday afternoon with the, or yesterday evening at least, with the H100. And it was actually cooler ambient temperature than when I did it with this. And this guy actually outperformed the other machine with 8% better thermal throttling, or about 9%, right? Less thermal throttling coming out from the new Cougar. So a really good performance result there and a good foot forward, which I then doubled down on testing in Cinebench with single run scores, and I did perform slightly higher with 
the exact same motherboard processor and RAM. The noise levels as well are really, really good, especially when it's on its low RPM, it's whisper quiet. Everything else in your environment is going to be louder than these. So when you idle or doing, you know, light gaming like a CS or Dota or something that only uses like two to three chords, then that's basically what you're going to hear is next to nothing. Whereas if you're doing a rendering workload, then you'll see it does get quite a lot louder. Very much in line with what I saw from the Deepcore fans at the same RPM. So very, very comparable there. I will say ever in the kits, th these kits are, these fans quality are more comparable with their high end like Castle or LS series. The SE series fans are not quite as nice. They don't have as much rubberizing and stuff on them. But this cooler demands a price of 2,300 Rand. However, compared to pretty much everything except for the courses, these come with five-year warranties on these are, are, are confirmed. I did speak to the Cougar PM this morning to double confirm on that because uh, the listing actually needs to be updated on Eptech's side uh, for these coolers because they're not representing that on their, on their sales page right now. But these are five-year warranty coolers. So that includes the fans as well. So you can see the quality and the expected lifetime of this product is extremely good. Like I said though, I mean, in the whole entire usage of this, the only two criticisms I have are the uh, mounting plate on top, I just wish it locked in, and then the color of the silicon pads. There's nothing else that was bad. The included thermal paste is what I used, and I was surprised that it gave better performance because I actually used slightly better quality, I would say, thermal paste on the H100 uh, for that test. So incredibly, incredibly good performance considering. And I love that they, in the packaging, they label all of the, the um, standoffs and stuff for the different packages. So you're not going to confuse your Intel with your uh, AMD at any point, and then those can stay nicely packaged. It's not just lumped all in one package. So I, that was a nice little touch that I really liked, especially for newer users. Uh, it's very easy for you to identify which fittings and stuff because they label like nice touch Cougar. Everything in this kit, even the Cougar on the side, I really like the finish of the radiator. I think if it's top mount, it's gonna look really, really nice. Preferably top mount as well, because the inlet points are very high up here on the radiator, um, but that's only, it's like, it's only like limitation as it were. If you did the inverted mount, which I've done with a few of the castles as well, then that will work perfectly. The tubes and everything are nicely braided and super thick and robust. Everything feels really nice. The right angles of the pump as well are really, really nicely done. Like absolutely everything else in this kit is completely worth the money and completely in line with like brands that have much longer times in market. So very good job, Kruger. Really nice comeback. Well, very, very well done. This is solid, like nine out of 10. Few little tweaks and it's very, it's already very competitive. A few little tweaks, maybe a small price adjustment and it becomes an absolute no brainer, especially with that five year warranty. Anywho, that is all I have for you on the Poseidon GT240. If you have enjoyed this review, then please do hit us up with a like and subscribe and I will see you on the flip side.